Hi everybody, it is I. I want to talk about what I had to do in order to survive breakups, estrangement, etc. And a lot of it has to do with rewiring, reframing, refocusing, and really undoing what's been ingrained in you most likely since birth. I was raised in a very large family. My mom was the oldest of eight. My dad was the oldest of three. And we were always involved with family. and Everything was about family. Family first. Blood is thicker than water. And it was every holiday, every birthday, every christening, every wedding, every funeral, etc. I, I can't tell you how many cousins I have. But for the most part, when I run into certain cousins, it's it's a joy. How's it going? Long time no see. It's almost like you're coming back together for a little family reunion. And we used to do that all the time too. But anyways, when you're raised, whether it's a certain religion, certain belief, certain family tradition, and you carry that with you, you think this is this is it. This is the way to go. This is this is how it's going to be for the rest of my life. And then things change. Maybe someone passes away and you realize there's a fracture in the family and it's not as it once was. And your hopes and dreams and future aspirations are basically put to the side and you have to say, now that grandma's gone, we're no longer getting together. What is everyone going to do? And sometimes people just gathered because grandma was alive. And then she's gone and there's no reason for everyone to get back together. So you're thinking the loving family I was once was once raised in is it wasn't a facade, but it wasn't all that it seemed. When my daughter's estranged and I had to readjust my life, I had to think, now what? Everything I was led to believe about having children, becoming a grandma, um, them being in my life and seeing their first loves and walk down the aisle and being in the room when my daughters gave birth. Everything changed. And I realized everything I had believed for my entire life, first 40 years of my life, I had to dig deep. And I had to start redefining what I was so desperately holding on to because I thought the only way I'm going to be happy is if my kids are around. And I had to realize that I needed to take a break from what had been ingrained for so many years. I had to take a break from the estrangement. I had to take a break from being a, a present mom. I really had to, to stop and think. And I went into the VA because at one point in my life, I went in and I said, I don't want to live like this anymore. And I had to dig deep. I had to be rewired. I had to reframe. I had to refocus. And I had to get some really, really intense inpatient therapy that allowed me the opportunity to decide what I needed and wanted for my life, I had to take a break from the chaos, the trauma, the other voices, the other people that told me what was valuable. And I had to create a value system for myself. And then I realized I started to relish the peace, the quiet, the solitude. So when I met my husband, I had to explain to him, I, I have a peace in my life. And this is what I've created for myself. So I, I, it's important you're on board with me. And then I realized I was allowed to open my door for people that I wanted in my home and not people that thought they deserved to be there. So it took a while, it took a number of years. And now I stand up for myself and I say, I, this, this is not someone I would want to come into my front door, whether it's family member, previous friend, someone I've known for a long time. My place, my home, our home is a place of peace and solitude. And I realized I have that right. I don't have to let people in. <laughs> Even if it's someone I've known for 54 years, 
I, I, I can meet them outside. We can meet somewhere else. And if someone wanted to reconcile and come back into my life, we're not meeting in my home. We'll meet in the therapist's office. <laughs> so that's what I wanted to say. It's sometimes the future, even today I can say this is what I want, but I might reframe and decide I want something different in 10 years from now. <laughs> Best thing about it is it's my right. It's amazing. So at any time, you can make changes in your life. And most important, take a break from the estrangement. Take a break. Just give yourself a break from it. Start filling your life with happy things. And you'll notice that's what you're drawn to. And that's what's drawn to you. So that's all I wanted to talk about. And I'll be back.